After some time in the hallway, they merged into a larger, more open area. Whoa. A large metal grate, like the door of a jail, divided in half. They shook it for a while, but as they had expected, it did not move. Behind the grate were two elevators. From so far away, however, it was difficult to tell if they were still operating. On the left side of the door, the crate was a door. Unfortunately, however, it was locked and refused to open. Junpei took a moment to examine the left side of the room. Next to the wall was a set of stairs, leading downward. Standing guard at the top of the stairway was a large iron gate. Foreboding as it was, the gate seemed to be so that sword, the sword that could open the open. Unlike the middle grate that bisected the room. With luck, Junpei hoped he might be able to get it open. The female symbol? He wasn't quite sure what to make of it. Snake, naturally, was someone more sure, more sure, more sure. Ah, the Venus symbol, I imagine. Do you recall the similar symbols near the large central stairway? They referenced many of the solar bodies. Sun. Saturn. Earth. So, as you can see, that one is likely. Not the woman symbol, but a Venus symbol. But basically. So I assume. When they had been discussing the symbols, Junpei now realized Seven had slipped away. His absence now felt Snake. Snake and Junpei turned to look for their missing companion. There. Seven had left them to head down the hallway, extending to the right of the stairs. Junpei grabbed Snake to lead him in the right direction, and they both headed off after Seven. Before long, the three of them stood in front of a door. It was a French door. Junpei tested the door and realized that unlike so many others that they encountered, it was unlocked. Door. Almost as though he was afraid it would suddenly lock itself. Junpei threw the door. He stepped inside. Yeah, pretty nice. <gasps> it's casino. It's time to do some gambling. Yes. It took only a moment for Junpei to take in his new surroundings. Is this some kind of casino? Sure, it looks like one. Before Junpei could comment further, a noise from behind made him turn around. Snake was shaking the door they'd just come through. As Seven and Junpei watched, he threw up his hands in frustration, and then kicked the door for good measure. It looked as though they were once again locked in. There was no reason to panic, however. Even if the door had been left open, there was nowhere for them to go back there. They would have to find another way out. Alright guys, let's split them and search this room. Come on, no dawdling. Let's go. Quickly now. Dilly dally shilly shally. Spurred to action by Seven's words, Jupe and Snake began to examine the room. There's nothing on the table anymore. That looks suspicious. Let me pick it up. Huh? A playing card? The Four of Spades. That score table. Looks like a Mahjong table. Do you play Mahjong, Seven? Uh, maybe? I don't remember exactly, but... I do remember a couple of hands, and some of the rules, so I figure I must have played it at some point. Excellent. Once we vacated this vessel, I should make- I would should like to play a game with you. Can you, uh, play? So long as you tell me which tiles I am eliminating. Yes. I believe I have at least enough skill to defeat an amateur. However, I must ask you to remove the red tiles when we play. Why the red tiles? Suddenly, Seven began to speak. Ah, Bakura. You've replayed, Junpei. 
Junpei shook his head. He barely even heard of the game. Well, alright then. How about I explain the rules to you a bit? See, Bakura is kind of an unusual game. I don't know how that's burned out, so I'm just gonna go with Bakura. You've got the banker and the player. And the whole point is that you guess which one's gonna win. And whether the banker or the player wins, it all depends on their hands. The way each hand works is different from other games, too. See, so you take the number from the one's place after you add up the value of all your cards. Whoever gets the number closest to nine wins. Heh. <laughs> That's funny. If your number's smaller than your opponent's, you lose. That's it. That's the explanation. Got it? Well, actually, there's a lot more to it. Strategy, details, that sort of stuff. But what I just told you sums the core game up pretty well. The single digit of the sum of the cards you have. The strongest hand is a 9, and the weakest hand is a 0. You just ignore the number in the 10 spot. You get it. He hadn't been asked for it, but Seven's explanation rushed through it had been... Rushed. Rushed, though it had been... was... yeah, helpful. Although he had only half understood most of it, Junpei now felt as though he had some grasp of how victory was won in Bakura. However, Junpei had no way of knowing the puzzle. If the puzzle and the Bakura table fought front in front of them, made use of those rules, and if it did, in what way? No problem, he told himself. He would simply have to try everything he could of think of. Feeling more confident, if only slightly, Junpei approached the back of a table. Okay. Hey Seven, are we really supposed to play back row? Back row table. What else do we do? Stop worrying about it. It's real simple. What's the opponent's hand? Well, there's an 8 in that glass case. Alright, then that's your opponent's number. If that's the case, what three cards do we need to get that number? Three cards. There are a couple of indentations with the white lines around them, right? Those mean we've got to put down three cards. So, place three cards here and defeat the opponent's 8. That's what I've got to do, I guess. Yeah, I think so. Something tells me those aren't the only rules. Alright, let's give it a shot. Before I start, I'd better make sure I've got the rules straight. There are three empty indentations. I'm just gonna pick a card and play it. I figured if I put them in the right spots, I, something ought to happen. Alright, let's give this a try. I only have three cards, and I doubt I have what I need. Doubt that's all I need. That's all I need. It says one on the plate. Yeah. Slot machine is a pretty old fashioned design. Looks well maintained and probably still works. Coin slot. So I've got the symbols for heart, spade, and diamond here. Okay. Spade and diamond. Heart, spade, and diamond. Stand for the slot machine, nothing suspicious here. Yeah. It's you. What? It's you. It seems the card is attached to the planet panel. And attached very well, it seems. If you don't mind, what sort of card is this? It's a blank card. The Ace of Spades, in fact. Okay. It says nine. Yeah, it looks like that cover is hiding something. If this is the cover, then maybe it opens up. Probably does. Okay. Well, will you look at that? Someone left a bottle of booze here. Don't mind if I do. Glug, glug, glug. <sighs> oh, that hits the spot. Feels like my throat's burning. Hey, you really drank it. We don't even have, know how long it's been there.
Where'd this come from? Well, at least this one is in light, like the one in the first class cabin. Maybe that's why it feels a little chilly in here. Fire wooden fireplace. Huh? Don't think I've had a card here. Card six. There's a weird looking thing floating in there. Weird looking thing floating in there. Door shut tight. It won't open. Okay. It's a really very nice looking fireplace. Junpei, I can feel a frame here. What sort of painting is it? Clouds, maybe? Clouds? Well, maybe it's a rabbit. Rabbit? Well, if it's not that, it might be a close-up of some teeth. Oh, I guess there's actually nothing there. Just a blank piece of canvas and a frame. Let's see. How strange. Oh. Wait. Those two lights turned on. I heard something from the bottom of the fireplace. What was that? Spade Diamond Heart? What was that? I heard something down there. Hi. Right. Corn bag. Cool. Uh, well, we got a coin bag now. Let's play some slots. Alright, let's put the coins from that bag in here. What happened? I heard an odd noise. Oh, uh, well, to be honest, I don't know. I pressed some of the buttons and smacked the machine once or twice, but nothing happened. Oh. Looks like the coins got stuck. Oh dear. Oh. Stand from the slot machine. Don't see anything that's suspicious. Do I examine the canvas? Hello? Clubs, diamonds, and hearts. Club. Did I say spade earlier? Why did I do that? Hmm? What's that? Well, when I turn on these lights, they make these shadows on the canvas. And the shadows look like there are three symbols, right? Yeah. Hmm. Clubs, diamonds, hearts. Right. So that's it. I really don't like collecting these cards. It's not fun. Hello? Check out that stained glass. How beautiful. What? Huh? Stained glass is colored pieces of glass placed together in a frame. As I've said many times before, I need only touch it to know. I can at least discern the basic structure. Probably means the stained glass doesn't look inside, outside. Can I... I wouldn't be here if it... I wouldn't be able to click it if I couldn't do anything. Is that something? Really? You can barely see that.
missing 211, but I don't think we'll need it. Five plus six plus seven equals seventeen, right? And one plus seven is eight. All right, if I just put down these cards, yes, open sesame for me, whatever. Great, you did in Jupe. You think it's telling us to take the eight card? Come on, let's grab it. All right, let's take this card. Three cards put down are stuck to the table. They won't be going anywhere anytime soon. Well, fine, be that way. And we tried the first slot machine. Let's try this one. Alright, let's drop this coin in the coin slot. Come on, I only need one of you. Oh, uh, what? Oh, hey. Spin. Oh. Ah, sevens. Seven, seven, seven. Seven, seven, seven! And I think I hear something unlocking in there. Impressive, Jupe. Would appear to be unlocked now. There's something aching to a drawer in the bottom part of this machine, yes. That is a big drawer for, div for dividend. Probably the lock for the drawer got unlocked. Please open it if you would. What is it? Is there something in there? Yeah, a playing card. And this. A key with a Venus symbol. Excellent, Junbei. Now we will be able to open the gate. Then we just need to figure out how to get out of this room. Correct. Come on, Junbei. Hurry up. And he's off. There's a playing card and a Venus key. Better put the key in my pocket for later. And as for the card. Two card. Okay. Ah, speak of the double. Fine. Here's the card slot, and looks like we need a bit of playing card in here. Oh, yeah, right, there's no one card, there's only ace. Ace is one, normally. And in you go. Hey! Alright, it opened up. Seems we have another device to contend with, yes? There are three slots in this one. Let's see. Three slots for cards. There's a nine right below. So that probably means we gotta make nine three cards we put in the slot, right? Just like what we did over in the back row table. Alright, let's give it a shot. Five, six, seven. Okay. Fine, you wanna rearrange it to three, four, two, three, four. Alright. So I put all the cards we had left into the slots. What happens now? Is that... Yes, I did hear something from the exit. Excellent work, Junpei. Wonderful. Seems the exit is unlocked. Let's go. I'm gonna take a drink to you first. Alright. Now we may leave. Alright, let's go.